Good evening, and today was another uh, day filled with some action-packed trading. Uh, we did have um, a continuation of the drop on the dollar that we saw uh, towards the top of the week after that consolidation. And so uh, we did get a continuation of uh, that drop here uh, pre uh, the uh, FOMC uh, minutes and so with that what we're looking at going into those minutes is we are looking at uh, support here above 103.750 uh, so 103.750 is where support is uh, but then the resistance right now is going to be right underneath where price has dropped and so underneath that 104,250. So price needs to get above 104,250 and hold. And the support that is underneath price is above 103,750. So price just needs to stay above 103,750. And the breakout area, uh, that would be a, a fresh breakout because this is now a full retest. So the breakout that occurred at the top of the month has completely uh, completed its cycle so completely uh, up as far as to the wild card area and then back down so this is fresh now if you will for a recharge so for a reset uh, the dollar can uh, look uh, higher uh, because of uh, the complete cycle that has been passed through for the dollar index so uh, the dollar index on the other side uh, can also fall uh, through uh, this uh, trend support area and through 103,750, uh, but there would have to be an extreme amount of selling uh, for that drop to occur. And so that's what we're looking at right now is how is the dollar index going to respond uh, to the FOMC uh, minutes uh, that are being reported tomorrow. And then uh, we also have for the UC idea, again, this one popped off of the Canadian dollar weakness today. So that's why this one popped, which is the reason why um, it's curling back down. Um, and so this will respond to whatever the dollar index news is uh, tomorrow. We also have for the GU idea, the GU idea uh, is uh, above last week's open. It's up for this week as well. So this one is continuing to trend up again. We talked before about those uh, fresh uh, higher lows being made talking about those higher lows being made and so we can see these higher lows being made here if you want to get a better look at what is taking place uh, as of now we'll take this one and we'll remove that and so what we have here is we have these lows here as long as these lows continue to hold up um, again there is uh, fresh buying here and so this goes back to the top of the month so after the drop from the top of the month uh, this one can continue up but this would uh, be indicative of the dollar actually dropping so if the dollar continues to rise then we'll get this come to come right back down here and to retest these um, this uh, trend line uh, in the same way that it has been testing the trend line on that bullish dollar news that we've been getting and so 105 uh, 125 500 has been a support area for the GU idea for the EU idea again this is uh, this was a, a rejection here um, again right underneath the minor quarter level uh, but right at its trend line rejection so this price can come back down here uh, to that 107 500 range for the EU idea on bullish dollar news we also have the uh, AU idea uh, pulling back off of the minor quarter 65750 uh, but again this one is up for this week and up for last week and up above the uh, major uh, wild card level as well as above its trend line so this one absolutely uh, has momentum to it so if you want to see what that momentum looks like that momentum is here and so we can see here uh, that momentum just continues uh, up for this idea so we'll see uh, if this idea does indeed break to the downside uh, on uh, this trade uh, if not uh, this trade idea uh, can continue uh, upwards on dollar weakness last but not least we have these 
continual uh, highs being made uh, for the NU trade again up for the week up uh, for the past two weeks up above this minor quarter level of uh, 61750 um, and looking to continue to push out in the same way that we talked about in the earlier of the week uh, earlier part of the week when it was down here we were saying that uh, if it is able to make it above this level um, this will be a breakout level and again we did get it to get, make it to that next minor quarter level and continuing to look up from there last but not least we have the UJ idea it is below 150 it does have trend support uh, underneath uh, here around that uh, 149 750 area so we'll be looking for support to continue there uh, into the FOMC um, uh, minutes uh, that are being reported tomorrow um, and right now price action is remaining inside of 150 uh, 150 250 and 149 750 so that is the range uh, for the UJ idea so this is the setup these are the setups that we have uh, going into tomorrow uh, before our FOMC uh, uh, minutes are being reported and so we'll continue to keep you guys updated on these uh, ideas uh, as well as uh, once the minutes are released uh, taking a look at these ideas and how they are shaping up and what the best trade ideas are for them look forward to trading these ideas with you guys tomorrow please let me know if you guys have any questions at all